Periodic Table In about 1869, Dmitry Mendeleev arranged the 63 elements he knew of at that time in order of each element's increasing mass. This showed him a repeating pattern of other characteristics of the elements. The tendency to show a regular repeating pattern is known as periodicity. Using atomic number instead of atomic mass as the organizing principle, modern periodic table came into existence. A table in which the chemical elements are arranged in order to increasing atomic number. Elements with similar properties are arranged in the same column, called a group. And elements with the same number of electron shells are arranged in the same row, called a period. This is collectively known as modern periodic table. Let us learn how to read periodic table. Reading periodic table. The first and simplest element is hydrogen, found in the extreme upper left corner of the table. It has an atomic number of 1. It is symbolized as H. The next element in the table is located in the extreme right top corner of the table. This is helium. Helium has an atomic number of 2. It is symbolized as HE. When following the pattern described, you must look down one row and to the leftmost side of the table to find the next element, lithium. This is the same as looking back to the left side of the page and down one line while reading a paragraph. All in all, the periodic table is read from left to right and top to bottom. Now let us learn periodic table piece by piece. Even though they skip some squares in between, all of the horizontal rows are read left to right. When you look at the periodic table, each row is called a period. There are seven periods in the periodic table. All of the elements in a period have the same number of atomic orbitals. Example, every element in the top row period has one orbital for its electrons. The second period has two orbitals and goes up to the maximum of seven electron orbitals. What about these two rows below the table? Usually a periodic table will show two rows separate from the main table. These are the rare earth metals. The elements from atomic number 57 to 71 are called lanthanides. The elements from atomic number 89 to 103 are called actinides. Lanthanides and actinides belong to the 6th and 7th period respectively, as shown in the image. Okay, then why did we have to separate lanthanides and actinides? If we keep them in the periodic table, it occupies more space. Thus, we separate it for convenience. With the two rows in periodic table, it is easier to count the total elements in each row. That is, two in the first row, eight each in second and third row, 18 each in fourth and fifth, and 32 in last two rows. This makes up total of 118 elements. Now let us learn about groups. Groups are the vertical columns of the periodic table. There are 18 columns of groups in the periodic table. Moreover, these 18 columns stretches from 1 to 8 are further categorized in the subdivisions A and B in the periodic table. The elements in each group have their specific properties with separate names. Let us check out the properties of the main groups of elements. The elements in group 1 are also known as alkali metals. They have one electron in the outer shell. They react very fast with water, 
producing an alkaline solution and hydrogen gas. The metals become more reactive as you go down the group. The second column of group 2 elements are called alkaline earth metals. They have two electrons in the outer shell. The elements in group 7 are known as halogens. They have seven electrons in the outer shell. As you go down the group, the halogens become less reactive. The elements in group 8 are known as noble gases. They have 8 electrons in the outer shell. They are very unreactive and exist as individual atoms. Elements in the periodic table can also be divided into metals, metalloids or semi-metals and non-metals. Elements at the left of the periodic table are metals. Most of the elements in the periodic table are metals. Metals are further divided into alkali metals, alkaline earth metals and the transition metals. But what about hydrogen? It is on the left side too. At ordinary temperatures and pressures, hydrogen behaves as a non-metal. Simply put, it is a non-metal. There are 17 non-metals placed to the right side of the table. Non-metals include halogens and noble gases as well. The remaining elements in between metals and non-metals termed metalloids or semi-metals. Metalloids separate the metals and non-metals on a periodic table. The line begins at boron B and extends down to polonium PO. S, P, D, F blocks. The periodic table of elements can also be separated into blocks. There are four major blocks of elements. S block, P block, D block and F block. These blocks represent how the elements differ in terms of the location of the last electron. Electrons of an atom are separated into orbitals. The S block first two groups have electrons in the S orbital. The P block groups 13 through 18 have electrons in the P orbital. The D block groups 3 through 12 have electrons in the D orbital. The F block is made up of two separate rows.